Hi, welcome to the web show of Todd. This is the show that I, Todd, do on the web. It's a web show. A show. That broadcasts on the web. So if you're watching this show right now, you're currently on the web. Congratulations. Now, I am not Dave Lemon. I don't get paid uh, money to do this. Uh, I'm not a uh, professional um, on any level. Um, I'm a hack. I'm a hack. Um, Letterman has a much more challenging job because uh, the show, uh, his show, which is much longer than mine, uh, every night, every single night, and quite often if you watch the show on a daily basis, you'll see that he uh, tends to repeat his jokes over and over and over again. Uh, because I only do this once a week or so, sometimes less, I try not to repeat myself. Um, however, uh, I feel I need to go back uh, to a couple of issues I've discussed before. Um, first of all, uh, I, I, I touched upon the whole um, new uh, audition, actor's audition deal where you have to sign confidentiality agreements uh, a, a few uh, web uh, shows ago. No. Last week, I went out on two auditions, one for a major motion picture, studio picture, um, and the other one for a highly successful cable television series. Um, for both of these shows, I had to sign a confidentiality agreement. And now, I mean, uh, uh, you know, obviously a lot of people go on the, go on the YouTube and the, and the, and the, and the, and the Twitter and, and they ruin uh, plot points for people. Um, I have done my best not to do that. Occasionally, uh, I, I will talk about a, a, a plot point or you know, let loose a spoiler on something that I've seen, something that's already available. But when I audition for things, things that haven't been finished, I, I never uh, talk about it out of respect, mostly for the audience, because it's more fun to you know, get surprised than, than to not. Um, uh, of course, uh, it's important to keep in mind that I feel that if your entire show, movie, whatever, hinges on surprises, uh, then perhaps you're not actually telling a story. You're just killing time uh, until there is a surprise. That's not storytelling. That's just filler. You're making filler. Um, M. Knight, I'm looking at you. Um, however, um, uh, I, I do uh, believe in respecting the audience and not giving things away. But on these two auditions, one for the movie and one for the, the show, um, um, and I'm not going to give it any away because I did sign a confidentiality agreement and I don't want to get sued. Um, so I'm not going to say the names of the shows. But uh, just so you know, I, I, you know, I'm essentially a bit player. Um, I do a lot of bit parts, and these were auditions for bit parts. Um, uh, both had, uh, auditions had about two pages, or uh, which amounted to about you know maybe eight lines. Per character, and uh, both characters had an incredibly generic name, uh, such as "man in suit." So I'm auditioning with you know eight lines as "man in suit." No script is provided; it's just these two pages that could be. I'm not saying they're bad, not poorly written, but they essentially could have been taken out of any movie of the genre or TV show of the genre, uh, and 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 does, doesn't matter. It's it's not giving anything away and I'm not there's no I just it seems a bit much I guess that's what all I was getting at <clears throat> now moving on um, I, uh, after my last web show in which I read a couple of chapters of, of the old the 60s children's book called Outdoors and In I was inundated with uh, emails and mails uh, hate mails, um, uh, which is distressing because to get the snail mail, uh, you have to have my address. How did you get? How did you get it? That's upsetting. Uh, but I, you know, and I got I got a lot of videos and 
a, a lot of upset people saying I was overreacting to this classic children's book called Outdoors and In. Uh, but then, I, you know, I, I, I looked at it again, thought, you know, maybe I, I was overreacting. Maybe the book is not as creepy as I think it is. But then I found this uh, chapter. I, I, I'm going to read you an excerpt from the chapter called Something in My Pocket. Uh, in Outdoors and In. This is an actual chapter from this actual book from the 1960s. Something in my pocket. Come to the window. Come to the window, Mother. Here comes Daddy. Look, Mark. Here comes Daddy. Come on, Mark. Come on. Look in my pocket. Look in this pocket. Janet. One pocket is for you. One pocket is for Mark. This pocket is for you. Look for something you like. Here, Mark. Look down in this pocket. This pocket is for you. Look for something good. Look for something you want. I have something. So I, I'm, I'm kind of going to go ahead and rest my case on that. Um, 